Guys, it is super loud. We are butted right up to the 605 freeway down here in Huntington Beach, California. But I wanted to show you this new Harley Davidson Pan America CVO. Check it out. Hey, this is how this whole Harley Davidson thing got revved back up again. Uh, I've been riding for a long time. I think my first motorcycle was back, ah, decades ago. We have been building Jeeps and we have this new Sprinter van that we built out and we travel everywhere. And right next door to the Harley Davidson dealership here in Anchor Beach is a company called Van Speed. Van Speed builds out vans and we were down there at one of their uh, morning events, just kind of hanging. And my wife decided she wanted to come and check out the motorcycles at Harley Davidson while I was at the event. So whatever, I stayed there. She came over here and she ended up buying herself a 2022 883 iron after that crazy irresponsible purchase we decided that i should probably get a bike too so we could ride together so i came down i picked myself out a 2023 harley davidson pan america special in the yellow which i really love a lot and that started the rebirth of our harley davidson journey so i've actually bought four motorcycles from this harley davidson Huntington beach store uh i have a friend that works here and i told him that if you get in or when more like, you get in the Pan America CVO, please give me a call, I wanna go look at it. So the other day hit me up, said, hey, we got one of these, sent me a pic, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Uh, I asked if I could do a video, uh, kind of a walk around, so I could show you guys up close and personal what this thing looks like. He asked the uh, dealership management and all that kind of thing. They gave the thumbs up, so here I am, Let's check out this bike. Harley Davidson is celebrating the 25th anniversary of the CVO. So they released a bunch of CVO model bikes and fortunately for us, the Pan America was one of them. Okay, so what exactly separates the Harley Davidson Pan America CVO edition from the 1250 Special? Starting with the tip of the bike, we have a 25th anniversary CVO badge. This thing is under the clear, so it is there forever. As the bike ages, this badge will become cooler and cooler. The paint, guys, you'll notice that this is very different than the other Pan Americas for several reasons. One, it's this very cool metallic -y black that really pops in the sun, but the orange that they use for their CVO celebration color is amazing. It is very deep orange, but very, very vibrant still. Another cool thing that Harley did is they put this number one logo on the bike. This is kind of a cool retro throwback logo. I hope to see it on every piece of merch that they make this year. The entire frame, the crash bars, are all powder coated to match that deep orange of the logo and the theme of the bike. One of the reasons why I like the Pan America over other adventure bikes is the look, the design, the aesthetics. It's very mean looking, it's very beefy and, and bold. It doesn't look like the other ones. This CVO model has absolutely everything that you need to add to your Pan America Special. Starting in the front, you have the off-road lights with a radiator guard. You have the beefed up skid plate down below. You'll notice the crash bars up front as well as the crash bar for the tailpipe. And it comes loaded up with luggage. Going with the theme of the color, you'll notice that all the end caps on the motor are also trimmed out with that bright orange pinstriping. When you come to the top of the gas tank, you have that carbon fiber inlay with the 25th anniversary badge right there embedded in it, as well as CVO grips. The seat on this bike is also upgraded. It comes with a little bit of contrast stitching uh, and that orange pinstriping along the side, as well as a nice pattern across the top of the seat. When it comes to luggage for motorcycles, the Adventure Bike class has a very distinctive look on their luggage. They use these aluminum boxes usually, and they're finished off very, honestly, they're very chunky and bulky. But that look is actually amazing on the Adventure Bike. I'm very happy to see that Harley Davidson just kind of carried that theme to their Adventure Bike when they made their own luggage. Of course, this one is branded CVO. You really have to have all the protection you could get on your motorcycle that protects you and the bike. You need to have your skid plates. You need to protect that radiator if it's wide open like that. You need to get your hand guards up. You need to protect the tip of your exhaust. You need to protect all of the, the frame with the crash bars and even the luggage um, mounts work great to protect the motorcycle when you crash if you didn't have the luggage on. 
This CVO Harley Davidson has it all. Adventure riders, motorcycle enthusiasts, you need to check out the Harley Davidson Pan America CVO Special. This thing has everything you would want on it from start to finish. It has all the protection. It has all the power. It has all the performance. It's comfortable. And aesthetically, it looks mean. It's very different than any other adventure bike in its class. I love my Harley Davidson Pan America 1250 Special, but I think I love this one a little bit more. I'm Rob from XOAPO. Keep adventure alive.